First of all, I'd like to uh, recognize Governor Haley for her incredible leadership in the aftermath of uh, the Emanuel the Emanuel AME Church uh, killings. I also want to recognize the people in that church that showed the grace of God and the grace of forgiveness and the mercy that they showed. Republican presidential hopefuls speaking about gun violence during last night's debate referencing the Charleston church shooting directly. You just heard Jeb Bush uh, talking about that. Going into last night's debate, more than 3 million people on social media expressed thoughts on gun control in the past month. Front runner Donald Trump addressed the issue with gun control, saying it's not an issue with the current policies that we have in the country. He says the issue is with the mind state of those behind the guns. I am a Second Amendment person. If we had guns in California on the other side where the bullets went in the different direction, you wouldn't have 14 or 15 people dead right now. If even in Paris, if they had guns on the other side going in the opposite direction, you wouldn't have 130 people plus dead. So the answer is no. And what Jeb said is absolutely correct. We have a huge mental health problem in this country. We're closing hospitals, we're closing wards, we're closing so many because the states want Just a little later in the show, we take a listen to candidates on what they think of President Obama's recent executive action on gun control. DNC Chair Representative Debbie Wasserman Schultz released a response to last night's Republican debate and had this to say about the Charleston church shooting. Just miles away from the Mother Emanuel AME Church, the site of a terrible and tragic mass shooting, Republicans assured Americans they would do nothing to prevent gun violence, saying we cannot afford to have a president of the United States who supports gun control. While referring to the president's mourning of the deaths of Americans at the hands of gun violence as a press conference, talking about how he can't wait to restrict people's access to guns. The candidates responded to the president's executive action on gun violence during last night's debate. They also discussed the Charleston church shooting. News 2's Raymond Owens is live at the Coliseum this morning with more. Good morning, Raymond. Good morning, guys. Uh, this was a topic, gun, gun control and gun rights and the Second Amendment, support for the Second Amendment, was a topic that did seem to sort of unify most of the candidates here uh, last night. Now, they all agree that support of the Second Amendment is important. However, there was a, a skirmish, if you will, between Senator Marco Rubio and Governor Chris Christie. They went back and forth on the issue a bit. Rubio saying that Christie has shown a willingness to be soft on gun laws in his role as governor. And then Christie fired back saying that that was not accurate and pointing out a number of gun-related bills that he vetoed before they became law. And the candidates explain how important they believe this issue is. The Second Amendment is not an option. It is not a suggestion. It is a constitutional right of every American to be able to protect themselves and their families. I am convinced that if this president could confiscate every gun in America, he would. I am convinced that this president, if he could get rid of the Second Amendment, he would. See, here's the thing. I don't think the founders put the Second Amendment as number two by accident. I don't think they dropped all the amendments into a hat and picked them out of a hat. I think they made the Second Amendment the Second Amendment because they thought it was just that important. And referencing the Emanuel AME shooting downtown uh, last year, uh, Governor Jeb Bush said that he did believe that, there, uh, it, that the government should restrict in some way the access to, to be able to purchase a gun by people who have serious mental health issues. Reporting from North Charleston, I'm Raymond Owens, News 2.